Now let's see the objectives of price discrimination. Why does the monopolist discriminate in prices? Why does he charge different prices in different markets? Why, why would he charge different prices from different consumers? Let's try to understand. First is profit maximization. The objective of every businessman is to earn profits. And not only to earn profits, to earn maximum profits. And maximum profits can be earned by increasing the sales, increasing the turnovers. Because in a market you might have poor buyers, you might also have rich buyers. So to get your sales more from the poor buyers, you need to sell them at lower prices. And to earn higher profits from the rich buyers, you will have to sell them at higher prices. By this method, you can earn maximum profit. Second, dispose of surplus stock. Now, if the monopolist has surplus stock with himself, and if he wants to clear all the stock, what he can do is reduce the prices or possibly charge lower prices to the persons who are buying in bulk. So with this method, he can clear off all his stock and this can be done by price discrimination. Third, enjoy economies of scale. Now, if a buyer is buying more from him, he'll be ready to sell him at a lower price. Why is that so? Because if he's selling him more, he'll be able to produce those goods at a lower cost. Because now the quantity of goods is increasing, his cost, overall cost would be coming down. So a person who is purchasing in bulk will get the benefits of economies of scale. Not only he'll get the benefits of reduction of cost, the monopolist himself will get the benefits of economies of scale. Next, capture new markets. It's very much possible that the monopolist might sell the product at a very low rate in the market wherein he is not present. Just to penetrate into the market, he might sell the product at a very low rate and yet continue to, continue to sell the product at a higher rate in the existing markets. So he discriminates in the prices. He sells the products at higher rates in the existing market wherein he has a big market share and sells them at a low price wherein he wants to capture the market share. Next, secure equity through pricing. Now, a monopolist might try to equate the things. That is, if he is incurring losses in one market, he might try to recover the losses from another market and thus charging higher prices from the other market. In the above point, we understood that to capture the market, he might sell them at lower prices. Now, when he's selling at lower prices, he is incurring a loss in revenue. He might also incur losses to capture the market. But he will try to recover the loss of revenue or the losses from the other market where the sales are high. So he will charge them at higher rates. In this manner, he will try to equate his losses from one market to higher profits from the other market. Next, welfare. It's quite possible that the monopolist might discriminate in prices, might charge different prices to different consumers for public welfare. A person who is able to afford more, he might be charged more. A person who is not able to afford might be charged less. So to bring about a welfare in the society, 
a monopolist might discriminate in prices. We've seen these examples in case of government. The government charges less taxes from the poor and charges higher taxes from the rich. At the same time, the government charges the customers who have consumed less electricity at a lower rate and the customers who have consumed higher electricity at a higher rate. So, to bring about the public welfare, the monopolist might charge the poor at a lower rate and the rich at a higher rate.